Hi guys, this is Hina. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about something called the color theory. The color theory. So we're going to use this color theory to come up with outfits and see how we can combine colors in a way that is more appealing to the human eye. I feel sometimes making an outfit is as simple as combining colors. And it works really well because it's just how the human eye sees things. Some things are more vibrant. Some colors just look better on top of other colors. So let's get started. So the first color combination that we're going to talk about is the classic black and white. You can never go wrong with black and white. It is a time honored combination. Each contrasts so clearly with the other that it's appealing to the human eye. It's not exactly on the color wheel. White is the color you get when all the colors are reflected off and black is the color you get when all the colors are absorbed. However, there are shades and tints. Shades are made when uh, colors are combined with black. Getting a shade of blue is getting a darker blue color. And then a tint is when you add white. So a tint of yellow might look like something of a pastel yellow. Anyway, so the example that I have for you is a blazer just a classic blazer and a black outfit. You can never go wrong with this. I mean, I literally have outfits that I choose the day before that I know that I've worn before and I know they'll work again because this combination is, it's universal. You wear black in the areas you want to contract and then you wear white in the areas you want to expand. And that goes into a lot of how to dress for your body type, but that might be another video for another day. The next color combination is one of my favorites because I don't see a lot of people using it. It was actually mentioned by Christian Dior in his book, A Little Dictionary of Fashion. Basically he says that gray and red are a wonderful combination and you can find a gray tone for any skin color. So if one gray shirt doesn't look good on you, there's a gray for you. And when you wear it with red, what happens is that it enhances the red. It provides a canvas and it just, it lets red take the spotlight. And for gray and red, I basically have red shoes and this gray oversized clothing, piece of clothing that you wear on top. And the pants I have are, they're kind of like a stretchy leggings, but again, they have the gray color in them. Guys, it's so hot in my apartment. It's very hot, but I refuse to open the windows because if I do, you're gonna hear the delicious and I don't want that because then my audio goes to hell. So the combination that I very much enjoy is tan and navy blue. And the reason it works so well is because tan is a neutral color. So really any color you put on a neutral color will look, it'll look like it belongs together and it's, it's actually working out. Now I particularly like the tan color I chose because it's closer to my skin tone. And I feel like it's, again, like the gray and the gray and red combination. If you get something that looks really nice on your skin tone, go with it. And this will provide, again, a canvas for the blue to really shine. For this look, actually, I also have a blazer. And did I mention I like blazers? They're amazing. They hide my, uh, my wide hips, and I'm very grateful for that. The next combination is teal and magenta. Teal is this blue-green and magenta is this purple-red. Together on a color wheel, they're actually complementary, meaning that they are equally spaced apart. Exactly three away from red-violet. What this means is that they will really play off of each other. Complementary colors are most vibrant when they're close next to each other or on top of each other. For example, this top I'm wearing and I will be pairing it with a teal pencil skirt, but check it out. It's basically teal with this amazing print design and magenta. It's unique. It's a combination people don't usually think about, but it reminds me of mermaids and pretty coral reefs. Need I say more? Go grab your teal and magenta combinations. I thought of splitting this into two videos, but I don't know. I haven't gone out in a while, so I want to wear all these clothes. This other combination is ivory and earth tone colors. Ivory is basically a mixture of white and yellow. And that combination is so elegant, but it will particularly look good with other earth tone colors. And by earth tone, I mean warm browns. I mean earthy reds. They just pull the best out of each other because they're both they're both very warm. So for the red combination, I have this nice uh, pleather skirt. Is it called pleather? It's fake leather. It's like this uh, PU leather 
pencil skirt paired with an ivory turtleneck. I know, I know, it's hot outside. And also it's a fall color, but you know what? I wanna show you. Maybe it's cold somewhere in the world and you wanna wear a turtleneck. So the next color combination. The next combination is navy blue and forest green. Maybe it's just an opinion that these two look great together and they are just one color apart on the color wheel. But I feel like when you tone it down, you can wear it together and it gives almost a grunge look. I like it. The example that I'm giving you is, I, I had a really nice example, I did. I had uh, this turtleneck paired with this jacket, but then I thought, okay, I also wear this co color combination at home. Why can't I just show you my lazy outfit? So I'm gonna be showing you that. And that's basically my um, middle school, what is it, sweatshirt? along with these uh, slacks. And I'm gonna hide the top part of that sweatshirt because it has the name of my middle school so that you know you guys don't find out where I went to middle school. But to those who know and went to my middle school, yes, I still have that sweatshirt. So the next color combination is yellow and blue. Yes, these are complementary colors. They are, what, three colors part on a color wheel? But I feel like they will actually look good together. The trick of wearing complementary colors together is sometimes just toning the colors down, just making it a shade. So it, instead of looking crazy together, they look muted, but still they play off of each other. I like this combination, especially with what I'm wearing. It's this sort of mock neck tee that's mustard and the pencil skirt that is a muted navy-ish blue. Number eight, taupe and orange, burnt orange specifically. Now orange is the most visible color to the human eye. How do we take that and make it much more palatable to our fashion, fashion sensitive folks like me? Well, you take burnt orange and you put it with a more of a neutral like taupe. Now this combination, I have a story about this combination, okay? Usually I would go to my massage therapist and I would be dressed in like sweats and I would basically show up going, help me, I need a massage. I've been sitting at a desk for too long. But one day I was stressed and I had this exact outfit with the, the, the thigh high boots and the taupe uh, slip and the uh, burnt orange top, oh not top, sorry, jacket. The lady who's, who was always the receptionist there, she goes, oh my God, you never dress like this. And then she like ran to open the door for me and I was like, oh. I like this treatment. People, that's a lesson. You dress well, people treat you well. Hope in orange, I feel like it's my version of Christian Dior's gray and red. Like it's my version of if you put this color with this color, it'll just make a canvas out of the, the brighter one. And yeah, I feel like it works really well. Okay, so this is another neutral and um, brighter color combination, but it's one of my favorites and I couldn't go without mentioning it. It's lilac, purple, and brown. The brown is a neutral, and the lilac purple is brighter. And there are a lot of ways to wear this. Like, it can just be a t-shirt. It doesn't have to be this outfit I'm wearing where the leather jacket is brown and the boots are brown, but like the long sort of dress shirt I'm wearing is lilac purple. Like, it could be a t-shirt with brown pants and it would still look good together. Okay guys, it seems I made a little mistake. This is not very lilac purple, but lilac purple does look good with brown. I guess the example I ended up giving you was more, what is this? It's like a blue-ish, almost, almost a bluish violet. But I give you the Hina guarantee that lilac purple will also look good with brown. Yay, finally, we're here, the last one. The last one we're talking about is gold and purple. These two colors, are so pretty together. They look so royal. And for this combination, I basically have this incredible satin skirt. I hate to admit it, but I did some fast fashion shopping, like a lot of it, and I feel so guilty. But guys, pandemic was hard. I had no happiness. My only happiness was clothes. But this skirt goes so well with this black top. And it's a turtleneck, but really you can wear anything. And the reason I think it does so well together is because despite gold and black being such powerful colors separately, together, they really do let each other shine. Does that make any sense? Like black is powerful in itself, right? Agreed? But then gold is also a very vibrant and powerful color. And despite being such strong colors, together they still look good. I like them. They're gorgeous. They're royal. Wear it. 
or don't, whatever. I'm not telling you what to do. Oh yeah, by the way, where is gold on the color wheel? I don't know. So gold, gold is a warm yellow between yellow orange and yellow. So there we found it. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, this will be my last video during my sort of launch week. I hope you enjoyed everything I had to offer. Everything preceding this week was crazy. Planning to open up a channel on YouTube is definitely an experience that I'm not gonna forget. It's definitely made me think about how I speak in front of the camera. I kinda wanna get better at this. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you find things within your own closet that you can play with. A lot of the times we have a lot of clothes. In the United States of America, we have a lot of clothes, but we may not know how to combine it in a way that looks great. We might even wake up and we might be in a hurry, but if you think about these color combinations and maybe, you know, put a set out during the night and you wake up and wear this, I guarantee you, you will feel so good and you will get loads of compliments and people will hold the door for you. And it always surprises me like, hey guys, I'm the same person, just in different clothes. Like I don't even have makeup on, it's the same face. I'm just judging my clothes. But the point is, what we see is what we judge as human beings. And I hope you use that. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.